I'd like to introduce Carolyn from New Zealand, who takes LDN. Thank you for joining me, Carolyn. Hi, Linda. Could you tell us for what condition you take LDN? For um, myasthenia gravis. And when did you first start to experience symptoms? 13 years ago. And what were they? I started getting weakness in my muscles and my legs. At first, started in my legs and hips, and um, I was I was, couldn't sort of play sport anymore. Couldn't run. Um, my muscles were sort of just paralysing, and I had a lot of fatigue. I was having to sleep a lot. Um, yes, I just wasn't being able to function. Mhm. And yeah. so. Yeah, obviously that must have compacted on your life um, quite considerably. Uh, what did your doctor say at that time? Um, they thought I had um, fibromyalgia and just left it at that for quite a few years. Um, but I was getting worse and worse. and um, I did have a lot of pain at the beginning, but I think it was because I was trying to push myself. I was a very physical person, hard working, doing about 70 hours a week and um, running, walking, biking every day and um, just didn't have time to be sick but my body kept shutting down on me and I ended up sleeping so many hours a day because I was so weak I wouldn't be able to um, hold on to things my eyes were drooping, um, slurred speech um, but um, the doctor still didn't seem to think it was anything different mm. So you were given nothing, basically? Um, uh, they gave me a medication from fibromyalgia, but it made me so sick. Um, I think it was amitriptyline or something like that, and it made me way worse. Um, it made me weaker, so it was very, very scary. I was actually barely able to move for a week that I was going to die. Oh, crap. Um, yes, yeah, so um, I went on for oh, years, years like this, and then... They thought I had polymyitis, I think it was, and then MS and did lots and lots of tests. and um, Yes, and then um, still didn't know. I went to a few neurologists and they still weren't sure what I had. Um, then it progressed about five years ago. Um, I was falling. My legs were giving out. Um, I was having breathing troubles. Um, my face... It was like I was having a stroke. My left side of my face would droop. So I was having slurred speech, droopy eyes. Um, yes, couldn't walk. Um, what else was going on? Um, sleeping five hours in the middle of the day, every day. I did split shift work, which was lucky. So I'd sleep for five hours in the day and then go back to work and collapse pretty much again and all the symptoms would um, come on again like rest made me better but as soon as I moved I got weaker uh -huh. and then um, I was having serious breathing problems and choking and I got pneumonia and spent a week in hospital um, and I just still deteriorated from there and then I was aspirating food was going into my lungs and two more times I had pneumonia um, I was too scared to eat or drink, um, stopped breathing, and eventually I got diagnosed with probable myasthenia gravis and put on treatment of mestinin. And um, then I had to keep putting the dose up because I still wasn't strong enough. And um, yes, I'm on quite high doses of mestinin, but nothing else at this stage. Okay. And how did you hear about LDM? Um it was sort of during the top before diagnosis pretty much I was trying to find out what was wrong with me and what there was out there um, with people with maybe MS or myasthenia and um, I saw it on the internet and I watched a lot of um, or listened to a lot of talks on YouTube which I think was your what you had been doing interviewing and um, tried to get as much information from people with myasthenia gravis to see if they've been taking it but I, I didn't really and this was a, a couple, about a year or so ago so um, 
I, I asked my GP and she hadn't heard of it and wasn't too interested. Um, so I let it go and thought I'd continue with trying to get better on the mestinin and um, I've still, I was still having a lot of trouble in the mornings. Like I was really, really weak in the mornings where all my muscles were so weak I could barely get out of bed, have a shower or get dressed, even though I had mestinin. But the mestinin I didn't take till 7.30 in the morning and I'd have to wait half an hour, an hour for it to work. And um, so over the not, night, um, I didn't have any of my system, so that's why I'd be so weak. And then, um, yes, then when I um, did finally find someone that had been taking it, um, it gave me the confidence to try it. So, yeah, I did. And what was your experience? Did you have any initial side effects with it? Did it make your weakness worse? No. Um, so before I took it, I was at my wit's end because I couldn't, I was just so sick in the mornings and so weak and I had to um, cut more um, days at work. I only did about four days, so I had to take another two off because it was just pretty impossible to function or get dressed in the mornings. So then I managed to get the LDN and um, from the I tried the one milligram first and from that one time, the next morning, I woke up normal and I could not believe it. It was unbelievable. So that was just one milligram I took for the okay. first month Goodness. and every morning I woke up strong and really well. It was, yes. So then the next month I took, I think, two milligrams and then 2.5. So, um, yes, and um, it's just been amazing, and I've found that my strength overall during the day, even on the mestinin, has been more stable. That, that's, so been, that's amazing. Mm. I know. it's It's been absolutely amazing. My partner cannot believe, and I just can't believe that every morning I wake up um, and just can't believe how well I am and I have not had any side effects the first I think the first night first two nights I didn't sleep so well and I did have some vivid dreams and sometimes I do have um you know vivid dreams but other than that I have absolutely no side effects at all and uh, my body is actually very sensitive to medication so um yeah I'm not much of a medication taker and never have been so I'm only on mestinin. And um, so, yes, so the LDN has just absolutely changed my life. I can just get up in the morning like normal and away I go. And um, I just don't know what I'd do without it. Well, can we just sort of go back a bit and could you tell us on a score of 1 to 10 what your quality of life was like before LDN? Well, um, I'd, pr I'd say it was pretty bad. I'd say 4 or 5. I was pretty... Non, oh, before LDN because I was on mestinin. So, yeah, probably five, five to six, just depending because I was very symptomatic all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, yeah, so about five. Okay. And what would you say it is now? <laughs> well, probably nine. Mm. Wow. Uh, and how mm. long have you been taking LDN now? It's not very um, it's long, is it? No, about three months. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. That's quite amazing. What would you say to other people who are contemplating trying LDN? Uh, I'd absolutely say to them to try it. Um, it's changed my life and even my partner just cannot believe how lucky um, I am. Um, and I've also, in my small town here in New Zealand, um, I think I've got three other people um, trying it. One, one lady um, has cancer. One lady's son has Crohn's and another lady has MS. Um, so, yes, I just told them all about it and um, gave them all the information I could on it and it was up to them. So they've only just in the process of, of um, getting it, so they haven't started it yet. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a very good advocate for it and thank you very much for sharing your experience. That's fine. And also... Um, I was actually asked to go to another town to an MS meeting um, to tell them about my experience with it 
and I also actually went to another MS meeting last week. They asked me to go um, to, and um, yes, yeah, so um, they're very yeah happy about that and want me to um, speak to other MS people. Oh, wonderful. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you.